Hi, boys and girls. I'm Mrs. Rubio, your team's teacher. Do you remember what teams is? T stands for technology. E stands for engineering. A stands for R. M stands for math. S stands for science. You got it right, boys and girls. So, happy Friday. On Fridays, we will be learning computer science. If you're watching me right now, you're most likely using an iPad, a tablet, a phone, a TV. Those are all types of computers. So what is a computer? A computer is a machine that follows instructions. So do you follow instructions? When your parents tell you to put on a sweater, they tell you put one arm first and then the other arm and then you put it on, you fix it, and then you're nice, warm, and cozy. This is how you put on a sweater, especially when you're learning. But if you don't follow the instructions, it might not serve its purpose. For example, I don't put on a sweater like this if my parents tell me put on a sweater. Is this the correct to put on a, wait, to put on a sweater? No, because it's not keeping me warm and cozy. It's just on top of my head. So following instructions is very important. And that is what a computer does. A computer follows instructions. You have to tell a computer what to do. For example, on your iPad, most likely you tell a computer, you push a button and you're like, go to YouTube or you press an app, go to Waterford, go to settings, go to success maker, go to Chrome you're telling your computer what to do. So your comp the computer has to follow instructions. If the computer doesn't go where you want it to go, then you might not be giving the correct instructions or there might be a bug, a problem in the computer programming. So computer science is programming, okay? On Fridays, we will be learning how to code. Code means to program. We are going to be using a website called www.code.org and you are going to practice programming games. You're going to practice maybe programming a monkey, maybe a little puppy, maybe you're going to program something with Star Wars or Minecraft or Disney. There's going to be many programs that are for different ages. So make sure, I'm gonna give you the instructions, make sure the age level you pick is for your age. This week, your homework will be to explore. Go to the website, explore, look at it. Do not create an account yet. I will give you your account, but first, I want you to explore the website. You can use it. Don't sign up for anything, don't pay for anything. No, just use the free things it has. So I'll give you the instructions next. Hi boys and girls, so for your next lesson is you will have to explore the code.org website. Where do you find this website? You will go under Chrome, open Chrome. Once you are there, type www.code.org. Once you're at the website, you're gonna see an important message as soon as you open it. It says, learn computer science, change the world. Click on the watch video part and I will want you to watch this video. It talks about why computer science is important and some important people who have made contributions to computer science. So computer programming. So go ahead and watch the video. After you watch it, scroll down and go to the first box that says, learn at home. So what you're going to do is, you're gonna try it out. Remember, this is free. Go to do an hour of code. Once you press it, it takes you to our of the code activities from code.org. 
Remember, you are not creating an account and you're not signing in. This is for you to explore the website. I will be sending you your logins soon. After you do that, scroll down and you're gonna go to this box that says more activities from our partners. Click on view activities. Once you are there, make sure you find activities that are for your age level. For example, first grade and kinder, you most likely will be at pre-reader. Second and fifth grade, you would click there. Sixth to eighth grade, you would be there. This tells you if you're a beginner or if you're comfortable. So if you've been coding with me in your sixth grade, you're comfortable, you're a programmer, you know, you know how to do this. So on this side, I would like you to go and make sure you unclick, unselect Android if you're working from an iPad. Why? Because it might give you games that are not compatible to program on an iPad. If you have poor or no internet, go ahead and click there because there is an option for there. And there's also topics like science, social studies, language arts, anything in computer science and the activity type, the length if you want it one hour or less, blocks or types of programming. Go ahead and explore the website because that's your homework this week to learn about computer science. Have a good weekend, boys and girls. Bye.